Hello everybody and welcome back to this series from ACD Labs on ChemSketch, getting more out of this program. I am Jesse, I work in the marketing department here and today I'm going to be focusing on telling you about the BioSequence tool. This is a tool that's particularly designed for people who are working on proteins or, or amino acids, uh, you know, short peptides, uh, in that area of biochemistry and it is a really useful tool for being able to draw up these structures very quickly and have a bunch of different functionality attached to them. Lots of stuff that you can do with it. I think that people don't really appreciate all of that you could do with it. So that's why I'm making this video. So let's jump right in and see what it can do. So to begin with, obviously, we're going to try to access the biosequence tool, and that can be found right here, this little tyrosine histidine that are uh, attached together. So that's the biosequence tools right here. So let's open that up, and we get this little panel off to the side here that we can take a look at. So there is a lot going on here, but most of it's actually going to be fairly simple from what you can see. So this, there's the standard amino acids that you have here. So A, C, D, E. Uh, you can see the structure of each of them uh, below that shows up. So, but you should all be familiar here if you're familiar with biochemistry and amino acids in general um, for that. So let's start with, with these. So you can obviously you know, take something like the alanine, we can grab it and we can put it over here, and then that's one way that you can build things. You can click each of these buttons to create a chain here. So that's one way that you can create things. So if I had a particular chain that I wanted to build of something along the lines of, let's go with, um, start here, A, C, D. We have our, our chain in that way. Alternatively, you can write things up just using your keyboards, using this little tool right here that says edit slash create biosequence. So pick that, click here, A, C, D, that. Huzzah, we have our um, sequence here. Now I should uh, of course specify this isn't just letters that are on here. If we uh, select this chain here, you'll see at the bottom it gives us the formula and the formula weight for this. And this is being counted as 10 carbons, uh, 17 hydrogens, three nitrogens, six oxygens, and a sulfur. So th that's the actual formula of this full compound, not just A, C, and D, because obviously A isn't even a chemical. So the, the software does know what this is. It isn't just some abstract writing to it. And you have the formula weight as well. This is in the simplify view, but we can actually convert this to a full structure view as well. So we can take a, a structure and we can press to expand it. There are a couple options here um, for it. We're going to use the uh, straight chain for this case, but you have the straight chain, you have 120 degree chain, and you can flip units alternately too. So that's particularly useful if you have a really long chain and you want to be able to uh, see things in the, the differentiation of the, the different sides of it, um, spaces things out more effectively. So that's what we have here. And that is the, this obviously more resembles what this uh, formula is down here. Now that we have a structure, we can, of course, do the reverse too. So we uh, have highlighted the structure. We take it here, collapse structure, turn it back into ACD here. So that's pretty nice and pretty simple that we can convert back and forth between the two. Um, and in that capacity, um, the, you can also, of course, then edit these as they come up. So we can have ACD, we can change that to, let's say, A, ACD chem sketch. Huzzah! Um, so we have that uh, as well that we can add or remove from this as we kind of want. Um, so that is a useful feature to have. Um, there is one thing that you might be noticing on the screen that there are a bunch of these blue C's and um, this is not just a totally aesthetic choice. Obviously, if you know your biochemistry at all, you know that uh, cysteines play a particularly important role in the structure of proteins. And that means that you can create these disulfide bonds. So that's actually where this button comes in here. So disulfide bridges is what this one does. So let's click this and we we can see. So it says specify disulfide bridges, example 39511. So we, and it even gives us a list too of our free cysteines, and there's three of them. There's two, four, and 12. So those are the uh, three positions of the cysteines that are in the uh, biomolecule as it stands right now. So um, let us go with 212. Apply. 
Okay, and we just have a very small change that's been happened to the uh, structure here as we're seeing it, where the, this, uh, car, this cysteine and this cysteine have been linked to, with one another with a bond here. You also see that the color has changed uh, from the blue to the black, so that is an advantage here. But this is also reflected then into the full structure. When we expand the structure here, let's go with straight chains. Um, it's a little bit awkward in this representation as you'll, you'll see because it kind of goes off the screen, but we can take this then and we can um, clean it up and put it here. And now let's actually clean it again. Huzzah, now we have a much prettier structure to take a look at. And it's been uh, cyclized with that disulfide bridge that's we specified here between the two and the 12 positions. So that is a pretty, um, you know, nifty and cool. I think this is a very cool looking molecule personally, um, but uh, that's how you would generate that with through those disulfide uh, bridges. But if we wanted to change our minds, we didn't want to have it as a disulfide bridge anymore, or maybe we were doing some amount of you know, chemistry to break these disulfide bridges and wanted to sh shift back and forth between the two, we can switch back to the writing mode again. One of the th other things that you might have noticed too that you can do is you can see the structure of the individual amino acids uh, here as you mouse over them. Um, you can pin this here if for whatever reason you want to keep this up um, you know, or you, you want to hold this as, as you're kind of going you know, through that you keep this um, open, this preview open. So that is something that um, you might be interested in doing, particularly if you're dealing with something that's a little bit more complicated. Speaking of things that are a little bit more complicated, let's actually take a look at the non-standard amino acids. Um, people who are deep into biochemistry know that there are a variety of non-standard amino acids that are used under different circumstances, uh, many of which are <laughs> beyond my, my knowledge, but I'm sure they make sense to you, uh, passionate biochemists out there. So we can have things like um, ornithine or uh, uh, things of that nature that are attached to it. And you can put those right into the structure. So I, I, I drop this here as uh, right within our structure. And we have an ornithine here as indicated by the X. Um, we can add in a citrine here. Is that the what it is? Uh, cit citrulline um, that you can add in as well. Um, you mark these with X's as well. So that is an easy way that you can add and all, any of these non-standard amino acids into your uh, structure. Um, this is, of course, just a partial list of what's uh, available. Um, you can see the uh, structure preview below as well. The structure preview works for any of them. Um, so even with these standard amino acids, that you can look at what they look like in case you've you know, forgotten if you're not actually a hardcore biochemist who, who's into this and you, you don't remember what the proline, uh, proline looks like, then you, know, you have your structure right here. But um, yeah, if you don't remember off the top of your mind what a uh, cyclohexyl alanine uh, structure looks like. You, ha you have access to that one as well. Um, but there's obviously more that's possible than beyond just these. And that's where this edit user template button comes in. And this is where things get, I think, are you know, for the really high end users and some of the possibilities that are available. Like you look at this list here of non standard amino acids, and there's just a ton that you can add to the list. So let's add in um, a bunch of these N ones. Um, you know, we have here, and they're added into our template a tool here that we can, if we are using a lot of uh, nitrotyrosines for, for whatever reason, um, but we, we have the access to them and we can um, add them into our structures uh, at will if that is, you know, particularly I think this is something that's useful for people who are maybe specializing in a type of uh, biochemistry here who is, you know, specializes in non-standard amino acids. And if you're a, a researcher who cares tremendously about the, the uh, um, uh, nitrotyrosines, and this is a very useful thing that you can you know, uh, easily access here. But you can add, change these, you can change it up, um, add or remove however much you want to do with it and customize your templates um, so that you have access to only really what you want or, or need. I'll also have uh, groups here. So these are protecting groups um, that if you are involved in protein chemistry, peptide chemistry, uh, th this is something that is very useful to have access to. So like the, the FMOX and the, the, the boxies are all, I think, you know, pretty common uh, tools that are used in a lot of um, synthesis here. And once again, you have a lot of options of what you can add and change depending on what you're most interested in and the kinds of chemistry that you're doing. So th this is just a, really a lot of flexibility, I think, in a, in a tool like this and that you can add them on into various places within your structure. So 
we can add this here, add an uh, acetate on, so that is a acetyl group rather on, and so just uh, one of the many different um, options that you have available to you in this. And you have linkers as well too. That's another option that is a possibility. So yeah, look into this and figure out what you really want to get out of it because I think that this is a really uh, fascinating and powerful tool for people who are into a particular type of biochemistry. One final thing to show you that I didn't note earlier is actually the uh, three letter view on and off that you can change whether you prefer the um, notation of using the single letters or versus the three letters. I probably prefer the three letters personally. Uh, it's uh, definitely recognize what they, they are a little bit more quickly, um, but uh, that, that is just something that is also available to you if that is something that you prefer. Uh, all about the flexibility, all about the uh, choosing things to your personal preference and your personal workflows. But I think that that will do it for this particular tutorial. Thank you so much for hanging out. Remember to like and subscribe if this was useful to you. I will be putting out more content like this. This actually kind of came out of some questions that I received over the uh, YouTube comments over time. So if that is something that you have questions in your mind of how to take advantage and use some of the tools in our program, let me know and I will do my best to either answer the questions directly or show you in something like a video. I, I, I would love to have that sort of feedback and interaction. But that has been uh, it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out. Take care, everybody.